But this has been bothering me for quite some time, and it's definitely not going to be my typical onslaught of YouTube videos. However, this is more than just a game a let them play answer. I'm kind of sick of it. Going to be pointing on problems and the issues this individual has done. So, oh, who is this individual I'm talking about? Damonte. He's a terrible content creator. He has a Twitch, YouTube, and perhaps other sources for his work. A lot of his folks, including myself, are not happy with his content as it is mostly lies, manipulation, information being incorrect. The biggest remark of his is his own claimed hours. They are false, with FBI stats cheated. More information found on Uncle's video and all the wrong he'd done there, and I'm not going to repeat that here. For all that information, go check it out. There's a lot more that he's done. So with that being said, I'm going to go over other points that he has done in detail that others should be aware of. I'll have a disclaimer at the end of the video. Otherwise, I'm going to summarize what this content creator has done in the past. Most of the material is going to be pretty much 4 by 3 so we're going to have some little black bars on the side because I'm going to include the YouTube video with all of its details, where I'm jumping to, so it all makes sense. Hmm, like you know who created the crossbreed? Fucking, you know, you know who created this mask to be so popular? I don't know, man. To answer that, the mix between a dumbass and a cheater. Watching gameplay with this garbage on the bottom of the screen actually gives me brain damage. I don't know anyone who doesn't think this looks horrible. If you think this looks good, I seriously question your ability to think clearly. And I completely agree with that, and that was good criticism you should have taken in the past. However, you're never wrong. You're always right, and if somebody says something wrong about you that you don't like, hide it, remove it, delete it, or change it, or manipulate it, or lie about it, which should be, let's say, properly fixed instead. Let's check some achievements, yeah? Oh, what's that? Cheated achievements. Most of his achievements are cheated, and not even the difficulty ones, such as completing any heist on the death sentence difficulty. I mean, he does have the Wonder Mask done in 2018, while 80% of his heists on Death Sentence went down have been done around 2019. This gets a pass though, because Pet is absolutely retarded with those, uh, with those kind of achievements. Because of difficulty updates, such as the one down slash Mayhem update and the difficulty rebalance that introduced the Death Sentence difficulty. Anyways, here are achievements done like Auction Cry, which are fairly difficult to complete. And wouldn't you guess it, they are all cheated. Now to his excuse, he said, quote, old payday. Whatever this is supposed to mean, it makes no sense. My old achievements from 2014 were all legit done, and I never had any issues with the Steam achievements for payday 2. You have yourself with zero payday 2 achievements, and you're gonna go launch the game. Okay, so you got payday 2 loaded. Things are loading the way they should. Go, oh, you close the game, nothing's really changed, or you did anything on Payday 2. Then you go back to your profile. What do we see here? 700 new achievements. This isn't a reset from Payday 2's main menu. Payday 2 full reset keeps your Steam achievements. You kind of messed up there, didn't you? So this is fake. Going on to your Steam profile page, which obviously is public, we can see that you got multiple achievements unlocked at the same time. Quickly checking those up, I can see that you got about 503 matches. So where's the other 700 that you did? Well, I see a bunch unlocked at this different time date. Do the same thing, and I see 700 this time. So what did you do? I think you use Sam, Steam Achievement Manager, to get your first 700, then you use Sam again to get the last little bit. Payday 2 Full Reset doesn't reset achievements on your Steam profile. It resets everything in game. And you messed that up. And we can look back at the video and see, oh, you're actually at level 100. So you didn't do a reset. What did you reset? Your Steam Achievements? And you did it again afterwards? Cool!
going to commentate over what Carrot has in place, but it's basically saying the amount of times you have dodged is basically impossible. Quite simply put, you had a toggle on, and your dumbass brain forgot to turn it off. Now you have a cheated solo that was removed from your YouTube. However, there's still one more video that's still on your YouTube, and was obviously counted as well. Like, how do you get away with such a rushing, risky, dumb, bad positioning like gameplay? This is so ridiculous. You're not even killing the cops, you're just letting them shoot you. And no wonder you can't get any objectives done. Because your guns aren't working as fast as they're spawning. Maybe grab a joker so you can keep them occupied and make your cheated shit more believable. Another thing that catches me off is all the clickbaity stuff. I mean, whatever, it's YouTube, you can have fun with it. Yeah, you can beg for likes or if, you know, I'm not sure what exactly this is supposed to mean, but if there was maybe perhaps commentary what the heck you were doing, then people would understand what you were doing in the first place. But this is a cheated solo anyways, because we're all gonna assume that you've done so in the past. And given how lucky you are all the time, there you go, you got the 5% hack again. Wonderful! What was your purpose for these videos? Was it for solos or was it for some dumb challenge? If anyone has made it to this part of the video, I have spent years playing this game, accumulated over 10,000 hours, and the sole purpose of this video is to teach. Showing you guys you don't have to use just the anarchist build. I've spent my time, so you guys will have to spend all of your time. Thank you guys for watching. If you did like it, leave a like for me please. Leaving comments is definitely appreciated. I love interacting with you guys. And if you haven't already, maybe sub to me. You only interact with people that stroke your fucking dick. Anything wrong or anything suspicious, you immediately remove. What does this have to do with the other 20 perks in the game? This is just a solo. And what are you teaching? There was no commentary other than your end phrase that you have on your solos. You haven't taught me anything. What's so good about muscle? Maybe because it's high HP? I don't know. I learned nothing from the solo. Maybe explain your build reasonings or show the build and teach other players what you're doing. Is this what I'm supposed to be learning? Well, you said your videos were to teach. Okay. What's that noise? Did you disconnect your mouse? Almost seven cops on the roof. And you barely took any damage. You should have died if there was anybody else soloing. I don't think that's right. Given any other solo, that would have been a different outcome. So remember when I said that you only reply to comments that basically stroke your own dick? Is the fact that all your previous videos represent the same thing. Including this one that I have showcased here, which is your 22 build video. You got lots of replies, including one that you pinned yourself and one I criticized correctly for. However, it seems to be a lot of miscommunication as it looks like I'm talking to myself like an idiot. And you know what? That's fine. I do idiotic things and I make mistakes too. However, a lot of this just does not make sense. As well as all the details that I posted here since the individual that commented in the first place who I believe was manipulated by your own behavior needed to maybe seek some guidance what to do properly next time. Now, given the previous tab that I had earlier, without refreshing the tab I just showed, a lot of the stuff is very similar, except for one major fact that there's more comments to the pinned comment. And there's all the original stuff. Once again, it's like if you don't like something, you could just simply delete it. Cool. But you can't claim or say 
without reasoning that all your stuff must be positive or all your stuff must be legit. Because it sure shit ain't. There's a lot of missing material that you just like to put away to claim yourself as correct and all the time good. But this isn't right. Refreshing this tab again. Going back to the comments. There you go. It's the ones that you have deleted. I don't think they deleted it. Mm, doesn't make sense to me. And it's not just one video. Here we go again with your recent speedrun secrets video. So we have the video that you have in place. All the tabs are open again, all the details. My comments on there. A big, long, informative comment. Probably has some decent information in there to read about. Was able to highlight some key points as I see similarities in the past. And some more stuff that you appreciate. Cool. Okay, moving on. So, what happens in the future? I can immediately refresh the tab and see what's below. Same stuff in the details. My comment again. And the one that you replied to, which really doesn't make any sense, but okay, we'll go with it. And the detail comment is missing. So once again, I'm pretty certain on the fact that if somebody calls you out, you publicly don't want to see that for other people. I get it. Not a lot of people want to see negativity about themselves. However, it only makes them change for the better and fix their mistakes that they should acknowledge. Another take that I have here as a note is all the stuff related to crime spree. Now I don't have a hundred percent without a shadow of a doubt evidence that you have confirmed cheated runs within your crime spree videos. However, I do have information here from uncle indicating that you have done some very suspicious behavior and has been confirmed with him in the past, can't confirm it now, that there was cheated runs within your crime spree. And if I scroll down to the bottom here, basically put from his own words, you have done crime spree solo runs that are cheated, remove custom HUD to hide the extra dodge chance, being able to dodge at least 11 bullets in a row without sprinting. And that's quite a bit of a stretch, especially for Sicario. Personally, I do remember your channel also having Crime Spree solos such as First World Bank and Birth of Sky, and you were able to nail them first try. Unfortunately, going back to your lovely history pool, the only Crime Spree stuff that I can find related to you is... Breakout with Bots, which doesn't really say anything other than you're probably hiding them, or Uncle's right. Now onto the main course where I'm gonna be dissecting the hell out of your recent speedrun video. There's quite a few problems with it, and I can respectfully say that you didn't submit a run. As a matter of fact, you can't submit a run because of your previous run in the past. Your own account is permanently banned off the speedrun.com official site. That means no speedruns in any game or any category. So the problem I have is the fact that you introduced issues to the speedrun community begged for verification on your runs, they were deemed cheated, and you're crying about it because someone commented on your videos in the past on a public YouTube platform criticizing you correctly, and you gotta make a big deal out of it. So if you're calling your speedruns world records, but unofficially submitting them, then what are they? Well, they're called YouTube clips, specifically for entertainment. Well, you could argue that. But the problem is you're now manipulating users on your Twitch, on your YouTube, on other social platforms. You are advertising the fact that you are legit. And I'm here to prove you otherwise. So, to put in short, there's a mod called Speedrunning. What it does, it basically displays the mods you're running. What well, the category Damon is running for is Storyline which requires no RNG modifier. RNG modifier is meant for individual levels. In this example, from Captain Alpha, we literally have speedrunning in Super BLT. Makes sense, he's got a small little picture and a couple of mods, that's it. 
that's that's all what's being displayed on game going over to another example from top shot was he had speed running with super blt and beer lip so it indicates that there's another mod running so the speed running mod basically displays what's going on in the back frame or what should be going on the first instance of this being hot as a cheat was when Damon was streaming and it displayed his other mods. In this example, it says Super BLT, Extra Profiles and Skill Sets, Anti Asshole Mod. However, there's a comma between each and every single mod. What was discovered in this piece of picture is Super BLT and Extra Profiles and Skill Sets does not have a comma. So there was some tampering between those two mods. Now another thing to note is that speedrunning at the top just says speedrunning. Another instance of him cheating in a submitted run, which is why he was banned, as it was verified by the moderators, it was indeed cheated. It says speedrunning with a little dot in the corner. So the speedrunning mod was also tampered. Inside his video! He showcases the speedrunning mod, how it could be tampered and how it could be scary when it's in the hands of the public use, just like him. If you look very close, eh, well, you don't have to look very close. There's a date modified and it's in the center of the screen. All the files say June 29th, 2021. But one thing that's different says HUD. Why is that one February 25th, 2022? When I extract the mod, they're all the same. Just to note that the speedrunning mod has been updated like other mods, so my date times are just slightly different, but they are all the same. So something was tampered here, indicating that he is hiding something, and this needs to be investigated. And since he's shown this publicly, it raises a lot of suspicion that he obviously did do something and has advertised it across the streams and within previous speedrun submissions. From your speedrun secrets video, what you got in place is you submitted a run, got verified that it was a cheat, you got banned, now you're crying about it, so you had to make this video. You're referencing the rule sets from the Payday 2 speedrunning community, yet you're making a run for YouTube. And that run is a storyline that you're following the rule sets, but you're saying you never submitted it. So you're trying to follow a rule set that they have in place, but you're also saying that this is a YouTube run. So which rules are they? Right, I guess it's your own rules because you wanted to do your own storyline, your own world record, your own speedrun category. Because everything revolves around you. Totally forgot about that one. And if you're referencing the speedrun rules in the official site, why in the hell is this video even made in the first place? You are banned. You are done. And yet you're bitching about the fact that, oh, it's apparently rule enforcing by moderators because they saw your run. And yeah, it was terrible. Also, from what I hear is that it's mostly Rosie's rules. Not many of the other rules are, you know, from the other moderators. It's more of like a forceful, this is the rules and you're going to follow these rules. How are you blaming one person? You mentioned later in the video you talked with most of the speedrunning community. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's a rule set based upon the speedrun community. You mentioned later in the video that you talked to several individuals. So you obviously know that multiple people have been dealing with these rule sets they put in place. The RNG mod, which is part of the speedrunning mod, is not allowed to be used. So for them to include a mod into the mod that they're forcing you to download, but then requiring the player to not be allowed to use that mod that they've included into their mod, kind of just seems silly in my opinion. Or you could have asked them and be like, why do you have two mods in a zip folder? There's RNG modifier and speedrunning. You download speedrunning mod. The rules literally said, no RNG modifier. How hard is that? Sounds like the inability to read here. Considering that the speedrun is the storyline and you're unallowed to be inside the storyline game mode, that's kind of funny. And then on the flip side, 
considering it is the speed run for the storyline, and you're unallowed to do crime spree, considering that crime spree is, you know, one of the things that you have to do during that run. Or the fact that there's a pace bin in a nice chronological order, which heist you need to do from start to finish. You kinda missed the rules again there, buddy. Maybe something to help point it out for you. They added a special addition to rule number seven, which reads, the recording must also be watchable, not too much lag, persistent delays, too many stream elements on screen, like stream avatars, emote spam from subs, etc. Well, that's clearly just a, you know, a jab at me. That's not a jab at you. That's every freaking speedrunner. They had to make it more clear for you because you missed a couple of rule sets in the first place. And who likes to see emote spam when HUD elements are being blocked? Who likes to see your stream avatar spam when there's HUD elements being blocked? You say later in the video that it's supposed to entertain your stream, but you're submitting a run on YouTube and you're claiming it as world record. So what is it? And again, you got more spam going on here alongside with your stream element things or whatever the heck. Of course, this is unwatchable. This needs to be validated if something were to be quote unquote a world record speed run. So what is this? Apparently it's a YouTube clip. Why would anybody want to watch an eight hour YouTube clip? I have stream avatars on my stream. I have emote spam from subs. I have stream elements on my stream to give, you know, the viewers something to do on stream. Yes, you're entertaining your viewers, but you need to, as a responsible streamer, if you're going to put that stuff on there, do not block the hot elements. It was shown in the previous rules and it's shown twice in the new rule set. Again, they're trying to help you here, not trying to make things worse. The speedrunning mod comes equipped with the RNG mod, but the RNG mod's unallowed to be used. Now, if you were to remove the RNG mod from the speedrunning mod, that's considered tampering with the mod and breaks the rule. Wow, what a loophole. No! There's two mods in the pack! RNG modifier, speedrunning. You put the speedrunning in for your storyline. If you need RNG modifier, you put that for the individual levels. Right there are the rules! They give you a mod that you're unallowed to use, and then when you decide to remove that mod, it's actually considered tampering with the mod. How was that tampering? You moved one folder to the mods folder in Payday 2. I guess we all tamper mods now. The same moderators, the same people each and every time in the notifications for weeks, for months. If you ask me, this is a pretty dirty system that they're running here. This isn't a dirty system. You submitted an eight hour run. That's a long time for somebody to verify. It's not just eight hours to verify. It could be double, it could be triple. Just to make sure you are following the rules. You are legit. You are following the same train as every other person playing in that same field. The category extension, as you mentioned, is meant for more detail for individual levels. Of course, they're going to get accepted faster because a level is less than 20 minutes. But I forgot you custody a lot, so it could be longer. I'm sorry not everything's instant for you. I actually had to personally message someone in Discord to actually have them ha see the run. Oh, boo-hoo. Who's excited to watch an eight-hour video called a speed run believe me if you're on the other end of that table validating runs for eight hours and doing the same thing making sure they're legit you're gonna be fucking tired but the moderators had weeks to look at it and i had to remind them one week before christmas and I'm going to point out that that time of my video wasn't getting verified, I seen so many speedruns in the notification, I was legit getting mad. Of course you would be mad, because you need things instantly because it's not going your way. Hmm, maybe because your first submission actually had a problem. And the problem was, you indeed cheated. And that's why you're banned. I still had to come back and fix spelling errors inside these rules. Though that spelling errors really isn't that big of an issue, it still boils down to the professionalism of these moderators. If you care so much about professionalism, talk to them individually. 
And you know what the cool thing is? They're not all native English speakers. Damon Tay wants everything perfect for him, eh? Well, let's go check out the individual moderators. We got Pizza Yum Yum, Captain Bublo, Salem, and Rose Yoshino. United Kingdom, that's UK. We got Spain, France, and Belgium. If you really want an English speaker, maybe talk to Pizza Yum Yum. Maybe be nice about it and not cry like a little bitch. And if that doesn't suit your needs, well, you mentioned the other two moderators. We have Awake. He's from France. And that's Super from Germany. So if you want to put an entire rule page plus everything else he's got to take care of for run verification and all the other personal life stuff he's got to take care of, he's going to be extremely busy especially for an eight hour verification of your run. So you can't justify the fact that you ask for professionalism when yourself is not doing the same. Demonstrating the rules of the speedrun that are listed on speedrun.com. And here is the response that I was given. The professionalism of the moderator is shocked. Wait, what? And I'm like, here is the example. Someone changed it then is their next thing that they claim. But going back to my own video that shows the old speedrun rules, it was actually listed all the way back then. So it was never just randomly changed. So therefore it shows the professionalism of the moderators actually knowing their rule set. So if you link them the pace bin in the first part of the video, then you pretty much understood most of the rules and what needs to be done in order. Your video includes the previous pace bin link. And the one that you just posted to them in the DMs is definitely different. Yeah, someone changed it then. The moderator told you that your run was invalid because you started at level 10. That's not part of the rule set. Furthermore, the moderator said that they're able to help as they created a new unrestricted category for what you have below. So I don't think they changed the rule sets, they added it in order to give you more variety based upon your request. The only thing that changed was the pay spin link. I don't see anything else that's changed. At no point was this a speedrun that was actually going to get submitted. Many times during this speedrun, I actually blatantly say that, hey, this is a YouTube run, so, you know, nobody be shocked when something crazy happens, right? But we're all shocked because it's a world record put into the YouTube video. Once again, you submitted it to YouTube. That's why you got commented on by several people, including some of the speedrun moderators because of previous actions. Of course someone's going to. Again, YouTube's a public platform. This speedrun was actually never submitted. It was never messaged to any speedrun moderator. It was never mentioned to a speedrun moderator. As mentioned in the video, it was a YouTube run. Why does it not have to be mentioned to a speedrun moderator? I can go to YouTube, who's this 10k hour person and BAM! There's a speedrun world record. Let's go watch it. Must be the best. Instead of using private messages to address any issues you may have as you know being a speedrun professional moderator, they went ahead and used the comments of the YouTube video, the professional approach I see. You're making more professional responses on YouTube than all of the other speedrun community moderators put together. Congratulations, you're still the best at something. So with what the moderator has written here, they've clearly seen the video, which indicates to me that they've had to have heard each and every time that I've mentioned that it's a YouTube run. Who wants to listen to your voice for eight hours? If there truly was a problem and or needed more detailed discussion, then perhaps audio should be included during the investigation. However, the case is already closed because you're using RNG modifier in the first place. So for speedrun moderators to be coming to my video and trying to critique or trying to place their rule set on me in my video that I'm making that is not any bit related to the speedrun website or category, they feel that their ruling system needs to be enforced. They're not enforcing anything. They just commented how shit you are. You tried so hard to follow a rule set and you couldn't do it. Looks like they're helping. 
in my perspective, but you can't take criticism because apparently it's negative. Now, before anybody twists my words, I'm not saying that you can't have an opinion on a video. Everybody's allowed to have opinions on anything that they like. Having an opinion that they like? Well, they like to point out big flaws or big discrepancies, and that's why there's issues. Maybe fix the issues. The way that it is used to stop cheating is extremely basic. It legitimately just lists your mods on screen, but has a major issue with doing so. What's the issue? You said there was a major issue. What's the issue? I should be alarmed at the major issue. Where's the major issue of the speedrunning mod? You know, the total time of mission? Well, that's base game timer once again, so therefore the mod didn't give any precision whatsoever. Since it, You just said it does give precision with the speedrun mod earlier talking about this thing. And if you didn't delete, one of the speedrun moderators pointed out that it's supposed to display for milliseconds that if you're past 4-9 within a second, it's going to be rounded up. Meaning, you're going to get docked a longer time. Or you could simply just go to the speedrun discord and you'd have access to know how to compile mods into a single folder. What? Okay. I was told to put the speedrunning mod with the, you know, the mods folder. Now we're compiling mods into a single folder? Okay? Where are you going on with this? It's only enough time until more players start to compile mods into a singular folder. Uh, what are you going about the single folder? Oh wait, that's what you do, right? <laughs> Sorry, you do things differently and wrong. You wouldn't actually necessarily know what mods they're actually yielding anymore. Ding! You're running the speedrun mod in your cheated runs! Congratulations! You just played yourself. Since they have released how to compile mods into a singular folder, it's just enough time until the player base knows how to do this. No, there's no documentation of them how to compile mods into a single folder. You are making baseless claims like the previous video uncle has placed only you know how to do this only you know how to hide the cheats that you've been pursuing only you know how to convince and manipulate through showcasing these youtube videos only you know how to do this it shows right there that you have your hut modified so telling me that this is scary no it's not scary at all further to back up all my arguments now that we are getting so far into the video I really hate to put it that this would be quick, but I guarantee you, last part's gonna make up for it. Because the runs, your YouTube runs, your YouTube clips, by the way, I mean, that's what you say, right? So, your three recent times for world record, a second world record, and a third world record. How many more world records are you getting? Why not put them as one video? Why not update them? Like you said, these aren't submitted because you can't submit them. You're banned off of speedrun.com. So first video we have here is your 642. The second one is your 711. And the next one is 735. So I wanted to analyze them very carefully. As you see in the front, we have your go bank heist. Pretty standard. You go in, knock on the door and drill for some quick little money. However, Something's very obvious. Now, keep in mind, the percent of what's going to happen is 1% to have the vault opened. It's opened. Surprise. Okay, cool. He's lucky. Let's move on. I'll compare more stuff within this 642 video. The 7-Eleven video that you did. We're going to compare that one too really quickly. Rushing up forward again with uh, apparently a stealth kit. And I can see in the window, the vault's opened again. So you manage two runs with a 1% chance happening again. So you got a lot of time on your hands or you're just really lucky. What about this 735 run that we got going on here? They're rushing ahead and you're doing the same thing. Bit of consistency, that's good. And your recording sucks, but it tells me that you have the thing opened. Cool. So 
How is this happening? This is Car Shop. Pretty simple stealthized. You go in, get the manager, get the keycard, get the computer, plant the explosives, and away you go. So, oh, where's the manager? Okay, so the manager is by the printer, and he's standing there, and you got the key card, you're good to go. We're gonna go check around, I guess. I don't know, I honest to God don't know what the hell you're doing. Again, you're just pretending to know, I guess. Then you're gonna follow suit, you're gonna go check the name on the board once it's clear. Checking with six cents, that's perfectly fine, no issue there. Tap press, okay, it's Bob Rogers, and it's the first computer there! Cool! What's happening with the next one? Go check this 7-Eleven video. We're gonna go down the same place. Oh, there's another civvy there. Oh, that seems identical. Why was that civvy there? Oh, look! The manager's there too! By the printer! Same spot, doing the same thing! That's interesting. Okay, so let's uh, do the same thing as usual and put the keycard into the manager's office. I'm not going to check the PCs this time, and we don't need to. And this time it's Edward Black! Where's his computer? Oh, it's in the front! Okay, cool! This is a little... rare. What about your third run here that you got with 735? Oh, we got some civvies over there this time. Okay, whatever. And once again, the video is stuttering, similar to your go bank run. And there's the manager with the printer! My goodness. A am I over ecstatic here, or am I just too excited for a speed run? I don't know, I thought this channel was full of hype. Anyways. Sounds like you uh, broke some glass here, and um, you're just gonna go with it. So that's a restart, right? Right? Okay. Let's speed you up so we don't have to look at the, you know, the boring parts in the beginning again. So you're going to go in the front this time. Take care of that. You're going to check every computer. Okay, you don't have the key card. Just get the manager like usual. And where's the manager? By the printer! Oh my goodness! What do we have here? So we got three different runs, four different times, the manager's in the same spot! That's strange! Uh, honestly, no. <laughs> it's not strange when you have this much RNG and horseshoe this much luck. And that's Bob Rogers! Where's his computer? Oh! It's the first one! Okay, like, I, what am I supposed to do? Is this not cheating? You have a modified speedrunning client that you're legitly faking. If that's a proper English word. Anyways, this is, no, no. Quick little recap for Alaskan deal. So there's four different possible saw locations and your 642 has it in front of the boat. Your other run with 711 has it in front of the boat. Your other run with 735 has it in front of the boat. So this is same RNG spot on top of very good luck with Go Bank and Car Shop with three different submissions or YouTube videos as you call them. I mean, you say world record, they must mean something. Okay, we're gonna rewind a little bit from Alaskan Deal. What about Oxen Revenge? The RNG for the Panic Room can be in five different locations. You have it in the basement. That's a pretty good spot for good RNG. Okay, so that's on the 642. What about the 711? There it is. What about the 735? There it is. Another three examples with very good RNG. So we got big oil. You're carrying engine 12 that you grab pretty quickly. On your 642, this one was a success. On the 711, engine 12, also successful. 735, engine 12 again, also successful. And you just miraculously grab these within the same time frame the helicopter's supposed to spawn. How is the engine the same 
for all three of these runs. Now on to Beneath the Mountain, where you gotta get two bags, destroy some radars, and away you go. So you're gonna use the Masterpiece and probably the Artifact. Yep, that seems legit. Okay, helicopters in the helipad. We got the tall satellite on the very top. I see a small satellite on the middle section. Okay, I'm just gonna keep that for notes. And this is your 642 run once again. No satellite beside the shed. Okay, this seems like a fairly optimal run here. Cool, gonna leave it at that. Moving on to the 711 video. And you got yourself the same setup. Pretty nice jump, cool, but the thing I'm worried about is that we got exactly the same chopper in the same spot, the tall satellite in the same spot, and the middle satellite in the same spot, and the back satellite in the same spot! How are these runs identical? Now onto your 735 run, maybe something might be different, but we have the chopper in the same spot. We have the tall satellite at the very top, and we got the smaller satellite at the middle spot. There's nothing different here. What are you doing differently? This isn't a speed running mod. You have something else happening. The only thing slightly different is the small satellite closer to the other helipad. But to me, you have incredible luck on top of what's already lucky. This is to me a legitimate now. Okay. I'm going to be doing this in two different parts because Green Bridge in these examples are a little crazy. So there's four trucks and you got a lot of time. So you may as well just throw four saws on the four trucks. That would make sense, right? So we got the first two saws placed and nice little m &T there. And we got the third saw placed. And this is your 642 run. There going to be any four saw? Well, let's, uh, let's quickly see. Oh, so there's no four saw, and you already opened it so fast, the prisoner's inside. Cool! Let's go check out the others. Here's your 7-Eleven. One saw. A second saw. Third saw. Oh, the prisoner might be in the back one. Let's go put a saw on it. Makes sense to me. Okay. Four saw. Fantastic. What about your 735? What do we got here? Four saw. Second saw. And there's the third saw. So putting a fourth one on the four truck makes sense, right? There you go. These look maybe, maybe. No, they're not legit. Remember that prisoner in that first truck that we saw in a 642? Well, the prisoner is closest to the scaffolding. What about the 7-Eleven run? Oh, there he is. He's closest to the scaffolding again. And the 735, once again, closest to the scaffolding. Shocking. I should be hype now, but this is the opposite of hype because this is getting ridiculous. A notable mention would be Big Bank. Unfortunately, this was not in your 735 run. However, it still catches me suspicious how it showed up in your solo run when you did Big Bank on ESOD. So in your 642 run, you went straight to the terminal and obviously, yeah, no, you got caught by civvies, whatever, don't really care. You know, speed this up. And lo and behold, you have yourself the instant 5% success again. So to me, this doesn't look pretty legit to me, especially after all the good luck you get on this run. Once again, on your 7-Eleven run, 
Big Bang can rush in towards the PC. Not a big deal. Again, I'm gonna speed this up. And you got yourself the 5% again. So you got yourself two runs that are incredibly lucky, but it's obviously not. Now on to the dirty stuff about you. To be honest, you're not that good at the game still. Even after several years, even with 10,000 plus hours, you're still pulling the same mistakes and blaming your teammates. Or blaming some other form of mechanic in the game. Some people can bitch about it, even myself. I do it time to time again. Game can get frustrating, but you do it all the time. In this example, you went out to get the objective during Fade. Okay, it might make sense on paper, but you have two teammates in custody. And there's one willing to be traded. And you went out there blind. Maybe get your teammates back. And when you're all coordinated together, all four of you can pursue the objective. So then you can make space, kill cops, and proceed to get the objective safely without any freaking downs. Maybe using your gun as well as your head and taking care of your team first is a bit of a priority. They're behind bars, get them out. They want to play the game too. So as I continue to watch further into this one segment, and again, this was the first of many streams that I've seen, but it, they're all very similar. Myself actually participating in chat, not being a lurker. Myself in chat asking about the whole speedrunning stuff and your questions in regards to BLT being a mod or not. Well, of course it's a mod because you need it in order to get speedrunning to work. However, just like the previous example I've shown, you have Super BLT and extra profile and skill sets as one mod listed under your speedrunning window. So to me, again, there's still tampering handling onto your stream. Furthermore, you joked that the fact that Super BLT is something called Super Busted Luck Time? Super BLT stands for Super Busted Luck Time, by the way. Your hints and jabs are telling me that you know something in the back end that, well, your speedrunning runs are obviously illegitimate. Yes, yeah, Super Super Busted Luck Time is what BLT stands for. No, this isn't jokes. This is you poking the fact that you're hiding something. And we sure as shit all know it based on what I've just showed recently. Now, aside from that Hotline Miami mess that you can finish, Counterfeit's more of an easier heist and you managed to do that one just fine. I don't even have any questions regarding that. Hell's Island is obviously a little bit harder and it's a bit of a DPS check, especially near the end. Somebody with 10,000 hours should know this and you're supporting yourself amongst many teammates. And since you're streaming, you better be well prepared for newbies joining in your party. That's why personally I like to carry high potential team based builds with Inspire, a Joker, or something to bring for high damage or AoE to take care of everything on the map. This one here, you tended to struggle. As well as your teammates struggling. Help them out. Don't leave them behind. What are you gonna do when they fall? Are you going to grab a joker so enemy bullets are deflected instead of on your teammates? Or are you just going to simply grab Inspire and help them out? But running back and forth for objectives wildly in front of many cops and not shooting is definitely a red flag. You got one team to help you back up because you took aggro from a cloaker instead of him. But how are you going to get everybody else up? You can't, you're overwhelmed. To me this is an instant reset because you failed. You failed to help yourself, and you failed to help the team. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Where's the taser at? What? Oh my god. That's really unfortunate. So again, you restarted? Okay. I... You should be well prepared. And you got farther this time. So that tells me you and your teammates are perhaps a little bit more prepared. Yourself and your teammates are struggling here. Your guns aren't keeping up. You're not keeping on top of easy spawn points, especially in this area, in the laundry room in Hell's Island. Everybody is going down. If you can help yourself and you can help your teammates, then you wouldn't have this issue. This is why we question your ability to play this game, claiming that you have more than 10,000 hours accumulated. This is across several streams. This is across several games that you display. However, it's a completely different story when you do your DSOD solos. So what are you doing differently? 
If you focus more on yourself and maybe help your teammates a little bit better and think about the team play aspect within Payday 2, you'll have much more success in your runs instead of this garbage all the time. More details in the clip, all you basically want to do is just rush, 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 rush. I only see maybe onesie twosie kills from your own guns, but you're not taking care of everything across the map. What it looks like is you're just simply waiting for the objectives so they can be finished. But you still gotta be taking care of the cops. Placing a drill only takes a couple of seconds. This drill doesn't even break by the way. In the meantime you can shoot cops. But you're too busy reviving players. There's a bot. You can let the bot revive the players. And when you get yourself back up you're just too scared to shoot anything anymore. It's like you've forgotten how to play the game. And then you're back down again. You make the dumb mistake to go forward by throwing a flashbang and not even waiting for it to go off. Again, this isn't just I'm picking one example. This is across several streams that you perform. Looking at a build that was submitted by a viewer in your chat, I decided to take a look at myself and it overall looks like a pretty decent build. It's a muscle build with ICTV. Inspire with... First aid kits, a joker with hostage taker, surefire aced, underdog aced, you got silencer skills for the LMG, and you're using an M60. This to me is a very good build. May not be optimized, may not be the best, but it's very good. And then you go and play with it. You seem to do just fine with it. You got your teammates up faster, so it looks like you perhaps could have fixed the issue that you had in Hell's Island. However, when you went to go solo the captain all by yourself... Get out of the movie, bitch. Oh, damn it. Flash. And if we had body expertise, this build would be like way better, all I gotta say. You obviously died like an idiot. Captain barely does any damage. You are taking heavier hits from other cops. You needed to clear those out first. And you're blaming the issue you needed to have body expertise on that build. Hell, you can't even aim at simple heads that don't even move their heads. You had flashbangs, you could have taken out the heavier hitters, then go for the captain, and you would have been fine. And also, you had a GL40 grenade launcher. You could have done some area chip damage, then going forward, take out a couple of shields, and he would have had a greater advantage. But no, you blindly went forward and thought everything was fine. Next run, you took your lovely muscle build that you have showcased earlier. And the only difference is you don't have Inspire, you don't have First Aid Kids, you don't have a Medic Bag, you don't even have a Joker on this build. Jokers give more health for muscle. Instead, you gave it Stockhold Syndrome with body expertise. You ended up wiping. And then you had to use Stockhold Syndrome to get yourself up. And you wiped again! Stockhold Syndrome is useless! If you had a Joker, that situation would have been much better. And you would have had a much better chance in surviving and succeeding that run. A Joker would have taken aggro. A Joker would have given you more movement speed. A Joker would have given you more health. And that health is critical for muscle for a breakpoint. What are you thinking here? But it doesn't matter. You can't play good without your goddamn cheats. Killed one of them. There's one on the left side. It's unfortunate. No, don't, don't don't leave. We have Stockholm syndrome. Don't worry, boys. We'll probably <laughs> we'll probably still die, but I'll probably be able to spawn on top of one bean and heal you. Can you throw flashbangs? Or are you dead, dead? No, I'm no, I'm down, down. Okay. Oh. Down, 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 down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Oh, you're all the way back here. What the fuck? Why are you back here? Oh, I ain't getting you. There ain't no fucking way. I thought you dead. Muscle build was a good thing. No, 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 no. See, muscle build is good if you have teammates that can hold them their own. What? It's simple as that. Same with, like, crew chief. If you have a crew chief build, if you have teammates that can actually survive, the crew chief's a good build. All I'm hearing is excuses. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, let's, uh... Kingpin, only good if your teammates can fucking hold their own. Armor is only good if your teammates can hold their own. Muscle, right. you know, anything right like that. No, this is you 
fucking whining because apparently you need to rely on your teammates because you can't play well without your cheats. Want more examples? I could pull some really earlier stuff. Painkillers would be nice, man. And yeah, I even have some really older stuff that you mentioned with fake information, manipulation, and stuff that is pretty much incorrect. And the only biggest difference is you don't have the speedrunning mod this time because obviously we noticed during this time frame we called you out for cheats. Because of your toggle. And that's why you put it on afterwards. So you can convince other users, anybody watching the stream, to call yourself legit. But my main concern is the fact that you're spreading misinformation here. And talking about things that don't even make sense in the game. Nah. TSD members viewing my stream does not bother me. Chill out? No, there, there's no reason to because, one, they continuously will just ruin my stream and do with that. So what is the point? Can we chill out and uh, be cool with these little kids that come to my stream and ruin my stream on purpose? Let's just be cool with them. Let's just be chill. No, that's not how that works. They literally do this for two years straight, bro. Understand the situation, please. No reason to rage. Am I raging, though? Can, can you prove that I am raging? Because I am not raging. Like, people, how can you guys be so ignorant? How am I raging? Explain to me where I'm raging. Me being slightly upset is not raging. Like, what the fuck is people on? Like, what you guys, whatever drugs y'all are on, I need that shit. Because it makes your thinking, like, so fucking cloudy. Like, I don't understand. I need that shit. Like, yeah, you can get shot in this build easily. You've got armor regen, life regen. You can get shot all day. It's just, if you take your battles one-on-one, -on -one, it's not really going to take too many shots. Another concept that you need to grasp inside a dodge build is a uh, grace period. Depending on which build you're using as well, grace period is something that you can work around. Grace period is 0 0.3 seconds, and it's the time that it takes for them to deal, like, you know, the 225 damage to you. Basically, the time it takes for them to aim and shoot at you is what it refers to as. So with that grace period of 0 0.3 seconds, and playing something like Optical Illusions, plus dodge and limiting my exposure, like, you can see how my build is able to easily carry the team. And it's all through just, you know, experience. It's not through just... First time playing it and dodge is saving my ass left and right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's actually based on me playing. Like as you see, like this is a one-on-one -on -one fight. Two actually. Not even sure where half the spawns are right now. But as you see, like I'm not taking my fights crazy. Like as soon as they start aiming at me, either they're dead or I'm not peeking no more. Like, that's how you should be playing dodge, and that's only learned from, you know, playing dodge and doing lots and lots of runs with it. Now, what I've just given you guys the info is something that may take you thousands of hours to even, you know, achieve. That may take you a long time to learn all that stuff that I just, you know, broke down to you guys. And in my eyes, that's fairly simplistic. Like, that, that was extremely simplistic, but to you guys, that may not be as easy. You know what I'm saying? He has spent years in his YouTube and years in his Twitch, and he spent years in this game, providing the community, you know, a good time, enjoyment, and a chance to learn the game. Unlike some of the other people that are currently in the, you know, community that are all just about themselves. It's all about me, 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 me. That's what it is in the community. That's what Kev is all about. Yes, they will, they will show like, hey, this guy, you know, uncle gave me this build, or... 
carrot gave me this build, but it's always within their inner, inner circle. You know what I'm saying? It's always within the TSD circle. It's never within just, you know, an actual community. It's always just within their little group. So if you see any, like, build guides or anything like that, it's only going to reference these people, not anybody else that is actually, you know, in the community doing that stuff. Sadly, that's the way the payday community works and YouTube in general. No one can be original because the people who spend 10k hours playing the game can just be getting stolen from a fraction of the time. This guy's gonna run out there and steal all my ammo, bro. Like, I cannot... No, I'm not playing. Sorry, but... He's literally not gonna kill a single thing out there. And he's gonna run out there and take it all. I even have even older clips when you ran mods. I have no issues with a lot of mods in the game. The only issues I have is the cheats that you ran in the past. But an Anarch is super low, even though that's like the most broken perk besides like Stoic. Pros love it. Oh, man. No, but to be fair though, like Rogue is only liked by experienced players to be like 100% fair. Like Rogue is only really liked by experienced players because if you're not really experienced, you can't use Rogue. Oh yeah, I've seen everybody playing like Crew Chief recently. Like it's good, like they think they're good in it or something. I'm confused though because, you know, Crew Chief is good if you're able to, if you've played Stoic or Anarchist or something for example. Something else that is, you know, able to tank. And then you bring, you know, for instance, Crew Chief, which, you know, gives you damage reduction of 400 HP pool. Like, it's always been, you know, a perk deck that you can survive with in Death Sentence. It's always been, you know, the best support. Like, anybody can use that as well because it gives you, you know, enough HP, enough armor, and enough, you know, damage reduction with life. To make that perk, you know, be usable in Death Sentence for pretty much anybody. And just remember, boys, if you get down, you're bad. I mean, that's a base game function. Yeah, see, that's a base game function. There's nothing you can do. Shot this man so many times, and he just still down too. Oh, yeah, I had another person be like, Oh, yeah, you can run Rogue with, with first aid kits. And I'm like, well... Not really. You can run rogue with hostage taker. If I can survive for like 30 seconds, which I can, because of, you know, dodge and just if you play it right. You know, if you're playing correctly, you can survive for like 40 to 30 seconds. Get your health back up to be able to live again. And that's another thing you want to work around with is that the HP shot that you've got. Because if you get a full HP circle, you're able to get shot twice to it. And that right there will save your life every time. Yes, first aid kits can come in handy, but first aid kits will, like, make you rust more. Was he gonna stealth build? It was a nice puzzle, I'm not gonna lie. I hit bulls I didn't I I love this game man no yeah well I also didn't have a joker so I didn't get enough life regen even from the hub there your teammates in custody had just as many kills if not more your build is completely whack as you have kingpin with hostage taker and berserker and your gameplay is rather questionable as you make dumb choices especially running into large amount of cops all right so in summary we got a lot that we have went over and even though this is coming close to hell even almost an hour i haven't even gone in full detail what the videos that uncle has put into the past years ago so in summary damon has cheated steam achievements at least twice cheated his hours and stats on the steam and fbi files cheated his dsod solo no ai runs several times some of them deleted very questionable DSOD solo no AI runs, making them legit. As examples I showed earlier. Potentially cheated in crime spree solo no AI runs. Obviously to delete it now, 
you do not have a 1 to 1 100% confirmation. Cheated in speedrun submissions and tried to hide his mods to be legit. Now I only went over three videos, but others can easily get their own comparisons between whatever timestamps they can accumulate. Damante has also been banned on speedrun.com and he has been banned on Twitch and had to make a new account. There's been several arguments with other folks and obviously deleting what he can hide. Lastly, his behavior seems to be manipulating others, believing his own made up rules and stories. Damonte is not a person to be trusted for credibility, but rather for clown ability. His actions and information are not to be trusted. For many communities and myself, I'm hoping he changes for the better, so he can stop cheating himself. As YouTube, Twitch, and other social platforms are public to others for their comments, I am not responsible for other individuals who may interpret this video in their discretion. Do not say death threats or perform illegal activities on any individuals mentioned in this video. I do apologize that it's very long and probably not the best thing for this channel as there's probably going to be a lot of red flags going around. But I do greatly appreciate anybody who's tuned in and I'll see you next time.